what is up guys it's ominous welcome back to the channel it's been a minute for sure i found this site called metal storm that i thought was interesting to talk about since i've checked youtube i've checked other sites you know uh to talk about metal and i currently can't really find a other video that discusses the top 200 uh, best metal albums on metal storm the only thing i found is you know actual clips of metal you know or how would you call this you know um videos that prescribe the prototypes on history channel metal videos you know and the n64 or the nes game metal storm which you got a review the actual metal storm top 200 is not a thing on uh, youtube so i figured i might as well make a video about it makes sense to me so uh it's an, it's an original topic so I'd like to discuss it with you guys. Uh, it's basically a website where you can uh, rate metal, you know. It's kind of like metal archives, but it's um, it's more uh, statistic-based, you know. On, me on metal archives, you can just, like, find random shit. Whereas this site, it's um, like it has a ranking system, like with Rage Music, but for metal. So it's always been my preferred site, if that makes sense. So um, I thought it's, it's an original video, or it's an original video topic, you know, uh, ranking some shit, uh, not really, but you know, um, ranking or watching this uh, list with you guys. It hasn't been done on YouTube before, so I figured I'd make a video. Um, if you want to discuss this list with me, you know, see it, talk about it, shit like that, you can... Um, hit me up on discord uh, i'll leave my info in the description if you're interested i'll talk about uh, metal music in general uh, anime gaming art you know shit like that those are my interests if you're interested in that as well then you can hit me up there maybe join my server i'll probably uh, link both of them in the description my server and my uh, profile so let's get it um i think the last time i talked about metal it was i think three hours long uh the time before that it was six hours long i think and i'll try to uh, make it under a minute so or <laughs> under an hour i mean so hopefully that goes well um yeah i have talked about most of these bands already in my uh, tier list video but i think that the tier list shit has kind of gotten still for me i've done it too much and people are not really requesting it so i'm trying to find new things so i'll try this uh i'll try this for now uh, i also found uh something called glitch wave you know it's kind of like rage music but for video games i can also uh take a look at that uh, I'm basically just going to look through this list and give my opinion on, on a album or artist if I see it and if I know it. And if you guys want to further elaborate on it with me, then you can hit me up on uh, on Discord. Or if you're on my Discord, you can see multiple profiles and shit like that if you're not on that much. I, I have like basically uh, 15 like um, social medias on there or something like on my profile link. So... If you prefer another side to talk on, then I'm sure we can figure something out. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's get them ranked for now. Or <laughs> I've done the tier list shit so much. Um, let's just watch through this uh, list and I'll give my opinion on them. I'll give my opinion on this uh, thing. Fucking hell. I haven't done this in a while, if you can tell. I want to make it more consistent, but uh, a bit, uh, bit uninspired. But I'm currently in uh, quarantine, so I don't have a lot to do. So... I figure I can do this. Uh, let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. So um, I'm not gonna give my opinion on everything because you know otherwise we'll we'll be sitting here all day. Uh, but I'll give my opinion on the shit that I do know. So and that I have a strong opinion on, or a opinion, a opinion in general. We'll see. Um, 
Be Laker. I don't know. I think they're a Mallard band. I was never really interested in them. Uh, Mayhem is, of course, the the black metal band that we all love or hate, you know, infamously. Uh, this is their classic album. I've never really sat through the whole thing. Um, I do like it, but, you know, it's a bit underproduced because black metal. Uh, it's not really my thing, but, uh, of course, you know, people can like it. I don't really blame them. Um, in rock, I don't really consider Deep Purple a metal band, especially not this album. This is from 1970. It's uh, half a century old at this, at this rate. Um, it ain't really my thing, but, uh, you know, I I guess people like it. I'm not a huge D Deep Purple guy. I prefer um, Machine Head, the album. Uh, Left Hand Path, I was not, not a huge fan of the production on this album, like I've said in my uh, tier list. Uh, but I do like uh, the title track and Drowned and some other shit, you know. There are some good songs on this, but uh, the production is a bit too in your face and a bit too, like, I don't know, it's a bit overbearing for me. So it's not really a enjoyable album, in my opinion, but uh, it can be fun. It can be fun for people, I guess. Um, if you're, like, in an aggressive mood, then uh, Left and Pet is a good album. Uh, Cause of Death is by Obituary. Um, pretty good, like, pretty straightforward Meat and Potatoes death metal album. Uh, I think from the Florida scene, I'm not sure. Uh, Obituary is a pretty decent band. Cause of Death is their best album, I would say. It has pretty decent production on it. Uh, I'm not a huge Obituary guy because they're a bit too basic for me, but, you know, <laughs> they're kind of like the smart man's cannibal corpse in a way, if you think about it. Um, I do like them. I do probably prefer cannibal corpse, but uh, Obituary is still pretty good, I would say. Uh, Exodus, uh, same thing with Exodus. Exodus is a bit too meat and potatoes for me, a bit too straightforward. They're kind of like a party, like trash kind of band. Um, they are one of the better trash bands, I would say. I would probably replace them with Anthrax in the Big Four. You know, from that uh, Florida uh, American uh, trash metal scene. I think they deserve to be in the in the Big Four, but you know, I don't really care about this kind of shit. But if I would, then I I do think they deserve a spot in a way. My recording is still decent, I guess. Uh, Ice Turf. was never a huge fan of them, but I do like this album. It's probably my favorite from them. Uh, I'm interested in listening to them more. But um, yeah, not, not the biggest power metal guy necessarily. So um, it has to be your thing, of course. Um, but yeah, not necessarily my favorite, but uh, there we go. Uh, Crimson 2. Crimson 2 is actually my favorite uh, Edge of Sanity album. Um, most people would say Crimson, but I'm not the biggest fan of the you know the, the production on there or the, the atmosphere feels a bit, I don't know, it's a bit off for me. Uh, I feel like Crimson 2 feels more like kind of a relief for the band, kind of like... They're go going out on a high note. It's kind of more emotional in a way. It's more subtle. Crimson is pretty intense in places. It's not always my mood. Crimson too, I don't know. It, it has more my vibe. I don't know. It has more um, diversity, I think. Yeah, I don't know. It's always the album that I kind of return to from Edge of Sanity. So it's my, it's my personal favorite. Uh, Tyrion, I'm not a huge fan of them. Um... They kind of sound like kind of like a rough death metal band with symphonics. I don't really get their style. Uh, I prefer Nightwish. I don't even think that Nightwish is on air. Their ratings are pretty low. I think Once is great, but uh, I don't even think they're on air. <laughs> Nightwish shits all over Tyrion on IMO. Uh, Drotka is a black metal band, which I was never a huge fan of necessarily. I do like them, but uh, they're not my favorite type of black metal band. I think you're better off with uh, Agalog or Emperor. But, you know, if you really want, like, a black metal band to, like, go in the woods and shit like that, then uh, Durska can be a good good substitute for Agalog if you're getting, getting tired of them. They're probably my favorite band, but, uh, you know, Agalog. But uh, sometimes you do need some diversion, and uh, Durska can be a good substitute for that. So um, I do recommend it if you're getting bored of uh, of the goats, so to speak. So yeah. 
what else? Uh, Rainbow. Uh, Rainbow, pretty great band. Um, this is not my favorite album by them, but uh, Long Live Rock and Roll is great, of course. Um, are there any fa It's been a fucking while since I've listened to them. Rainbow Eyes is great. Love Rainbow Eyes. Uh, Kill the King is pretty good. Gates of Babylon, of course, classic. Lady of the Lake, I quite like, so... Uh, pretty good shit. Uh, Rainbow is still pretty good. Uh, I do recommend it if you're in a hard rock, heavy metal type of type of way, type of feel, in the mood for that, then um, I do recommend Rainbow. Uh, Demi Borger was never really my type of band. Um, kind of sound like Hot Topic poser trash to me. Hot Topic uh, <laughs> symphonic black metal band. I don't get it necessarily. Uh, Wasp was also never really my thing. Uh, pretty like aggressive type of hair metal type of band uh, heavy metal i guess uh it's a bit too blunt and in your face for me per se uh for me personally but uh i can't understand why people like wasp um maybe if i give them more tries i'll i like it i did like that one album i think the headless cross oh with the cross on it i did like that at one point i gave it a 10 but i haven't really listened to it ever since so it's kind of shows Okay, what else? Uh, Dan Swano, I haven't really... I don't know. I haven't really checked out the solo stuff, but I do like Edge of Sanity. Uh, Vector, uh, not my favorite album by them, but uh, Vector is a good modern trash band. That's pretty rare. Uh, Slayer, not my favorite Slayer album, but uh, pretty decent, I guess. You know, um, this is really where they kind of slowed down and they uh, kind of took a look at their took a look at themselves and were like, hey, let's not make Rain and Blood again. And then they made a slower album. I guess it's pretty cool, but it's it's a bit derivative, I think. It's a bit, you know, meh. Uh, production is pretty good, though. When Rick Rubin could still, like, he kind of still gave a shit about producing, then, you know, it was pretty decent. Not so much now, though. Uh, Crimson Glory, awful band. I've never really sat through this whole thing, but the, th the, but the moments that I've heard, I kind of hated it um symphony x the odyssey pretty decent not my favorite necessarily um i wouldn't even know what would be my favorite symphony x i'll maybe paradise lost but yeah i don't know um this album does kind of sound like you know kind of generic power power proc in a way it's not really my type of sound, but uh, Symphony X is a decent band. I would listen to them more if I'm more in, the, in that power metal mood, then Symphony X is definitely one of the better bands, I would say. Uh, they're still a bit uninspired for me, I don't know. Maybe if I listen more, I'll, li I'll like them more. Rush. Uh, Rush is not a metal band. I don't know what they're doing on there. <laughs> <laughs> There's literally a fucking song on there where they're talking about a fucking melon. I mean, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out, mate. Okay. Um, Xanadu or some shit. Honeydew. <laughs> Nigga. Oh my god, no. I might get cancelled now, but at least I'm not Kanye. Um, holy shit. Trees of, t Trees of Eternity. I don't really like it, necessarily. Uh, I did like the vocals. Uh, this is the... This is the band that the girlfriend from Swallow the Sun made, I think. Um, I did check it out. Compositions were pretty uninspired, pretty mellow. Uh, it's a bit too eh for me, you know, a bit too middle of the road, a bit too mellow. So I was never really into it. Uh, Neo Oblivious Cars, kind of the same thing, but, you know, it's just kind of like a uh, proc death in a way. I think it's like progressive death metal. Uh, extreme progressive metal, I guess. I was never a fan of this band. I don't get the hype. Control the Night, uh, Chuck Schuldner's last band before he passed away. You know, after death, but before his own passing, he made this album. Uh, pretty decent, like, kind of power proc in a way. It's not really death metal anymore, if you want to argue that. I don't really give a shit, but that's not the label of it. So uh, go fight with a death fan or something. We'll see. Um, I've never really checked out this band, but uh, why is a fan of them, I guess. 
avant-garde black metal, I think. Uh, Oceanic, one of my favorite albums ever. Uh, I love the vibe of this album. I love the atmosphere. I love the the br- the fucking heavy waves when uh, or the the heavy riffs when it fucking hits you. It hits you like a heavy wave. Uh, Oceanic is fucking amazing. Probably in my top five. Uh, the beginning and the end is an amazing song, especially when it goes into those fucking riffs. I I love I love Isis. I love them so much. Uh, this should be way higher. Uh, it it does. It didn't even used to be on this list, but I'm happy that people are are finally waking up to the ISIS. Uh, whether that's a good thing or not, that's up for you to decide. But uh, in my eyes, they're a great band. Um, probably still my favorite album from them. What else is really good? Uh, Carrie, I really love. Uh, Carrie is really extreme. Uh, Wait is like a great kind of mood, kind of vibe song. Uh, what else is really good? Uh, yeah, Carrie, like I said, uh, him also, uh, I think the closer, him is quite nice. Yeah, you know, shit like that. Uh, really good album. I love it. Still one of my faves. Uh, Theater of Tragedy. Uh, check them out. Not really for me. Uh, Beyond the Veil uh, is a kind of a symphonic uh, goth band in a way. They kind of dropped their goff sound with this album. Um, I'm a huge fan of the song Angina. I got it with like a really old school anime AMV, uh, which is really fucking epic. Um, yeah, Tristania is good shit. Uh, Beyond the Veil is my favorite album from them. I like it quite a bit. Uh, the title track is pretty good. Aphelion used to be my favorite. Uh, Lithian River is pretty good. Angina is fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, this this album fucking rules. I'm not going to zoom in on it because uh, titties. But uh, good shit. I like it. Good fucking band. Tristania, pretty good. Uh, Swallow the Sun. This is my favorite album from them. The Morning Never Came. I'm a, uh, I'm a pretty big fan of the song... Um, Silfrey through her body, I think, was the title of it. Hits pretty hard. I did like that song. Um, through her silvery body, which is actually the the first song that they ever made or put the tape. If you don't count EPs and demos and shit like that, I'm sure that they had shit before that, but I don't. I'm not gonna look into it. I still have like 175 albums to uh, uh, rate or. Well, discuss in a way, I guess. Uh, good band, though. I like them quite a bit. Uh, good atmosphere. It's, it's Sometimes they can be a bit too extreme for me. They're kind of like a Death Doom band, so I'm not always in the mood for that type of shit, but uh, I do like them. They're pretty good. Pretty good atmosphere. I'm on a Marv, decent band. This is probably their best album, but was never a huge fan of them. Uh, Rotting Christ, uh, want to check them out more. Lepros. Think they're just kind of a generic prog band. My Dying Bride is a bit too um, a bit too depressing for me. You know, it doesn't really sound like uh, you're going through a good time when you have My Dying Bride on, especially this fucking name, My Dying Bride. It's it's pretty fuck it. It's pretty fucked up. You know. Uh, so yeah, not a very cheery name, but uh, I do like them uh, from Oliver, but I don't always put them on because it's it's quite depressing uh warding check them out it's kind of like uh obscure doom metal bands uh not really for me uh camelot kind of a generic power metal band. uh sometimes i'm in the mood for them when i feel like more symphonic and shit when i feel hype i put on camelot from time to time the, the black halo you know uh but yeah i'm not the biggest fan of them they feel a bit uninspired i am a Okay, uh, Seven Wonder, generic prog band. Uh, Cynic, pretty decent, uh, kind of tech death band. Uh, Focus is pretty good, uh, pretty decent. It's not my favorite. I would probably say uh, their second album is my favorite. Or their Euroboric uh, Forms EP, uh, or a demo, which is pretty great. Demo, debut, dumbass, but it's, it's pretty decent. Um, it sounds heavier than Focus, in my opinion. I'm not always about, like, it being heavier but sometimes it does hit you harder in a way um how's their fucking how's their second album called again i like the vibe a bit better on that album uh tra- traced in traced in air uh, i think is 
Yeah, it's probably my favorite. It has a better atmosphere, so I would say that or the Euroborg Forms demo. Um, if that's still on Spotify, I'll probably listen to that shit someday again. I did like it. Um, Appetite for Destruction, I don't consider Guns N' Roses a metal band. They're hard rock or like glam rock to me, <laughs> no, or hair rock, you know. I don't really consider Guns N' Roses metal. <coughs> um, Welcome to the Jungle is pretty decent. Uh, Switch Out of Mind, I don't have to hear that song again. The riff is kind of annoying. I agree with Slash. Um, Rocket Queen is pretty funny. Uh, it's so easy. It's pretty misogynistic. Uh, hasn't really aged the best. Um, I think he, he says some shit like, uh, turn around, bitch, I got a use for you. Didn't really age that well. <laughs> um, appetite, it can still kick some ass, but uh, it hasn't aged gracefully. Like I said, not every song has aged gracefully. Paradise City is, of course, pretty classic, but uh, I think it's a bit overplayed, you know. Um, I usually go back to uh, use your... your Use your illusion the most. Uh, two is my personal favorite. Estranged and You Could Be Mine and um, Civil War is fucking great. I love those songs. Um, yeah, still, I'm still in the mood for that album. I don't really listen to Appetite much anymore. I think it's a bit too played out for me. Uh, but it can still be a good time. If you're like in a hard rock mood, I think Guns N' Roses is one of the better bands in that genre, for sure. That's for show. Sure. Riverside, I uh, always kind of saw them as a uh, PT uh, knockoff, a uh, pork pantry. Uh, Vulgar's Play of Power, not my favorite Pantera album. I think Cowboys used to be on this list, but it's got knocked off again. Uh, I think it's better than Vulgar, in my opinion, but that's of course up to debate. Uh, Hollow is quite good. Uh, Walk is a bit too generic for me. Uh, Mouth for War, decent opening song. A uh, fucking hostile always get me like in an, in an aggressive type of mood, so that's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I like that. Uh, Candlemas was never really my type of band, uh, not my favorite doom metal band, so I don't know, I never got into them. Uh, don't know this band, My Dying Bride, Dean, I guess, The Blackening. I think it's a bit too overrated in my opinion, but uh, it can still be decent. Halo is quite good. Uh, what else is on this album? I've heard it before. Wasn't there a title track on this? Nope. Static of Hate. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of their Hollow Be a Name cover. I think that Cradle Field did, did a pretty great, pretty great cover of that shit. Um, what else is pretty good? Oh, Farewell to Arms. I quite like. Uh, it's decent. Clenching the Fist of Dissent is also uh, decent. So, uh, yeah. I like it. I like it, not love it. It's a bit overrated, in my opinion. Led Zeppelin, not a metal band. I'm not sure what it's doing on here. Uh, it's like blues rock, hard rock. I don't get it. Uh, Slumber, kind of a generic doom metal band. Was not uh, interested in them. What else? Uh, Coroner, pretty decent type of trash metal band. Um, it's it's Mental Vortex. It's a pretty decent album. It's not really my type of album. It's progressive trash, you know. Um, I'm just not really into a trash metal mood usually. Usually when I'm in that mood, I go to like Metallica or Exodus. Those are probably my favorites at the moment. Um, so yeah, not the biggest fan. So there you go. Which band were we on? Uh, corner, yeah. Uh, Shining, don't know. Uh, Running Wild, I've checked them out. Um, they were labeled speed metal, but they kind of sound like a, like a power metal, hard rock type of band. I don't really pick up a lot of their speeds in a way. Maybe I'm deaf, but I didn't hear it. I don't know. Um, Mutter by Romstein or Mutter or whatever. There's like one colleague who like gets pissed off when I uh, butcher a German language because he's like half... Uh, German or some shit. I don't, dude. I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, Mutter or whatever. I don't fucking know. Um, but decent album. I like it. It's it's a pretty decent album. Uh, what else? Uh, we can look at some songs. I think that Engel is on there. Engel, Minehurst Brand is pretty decent. Uh, Sunday is my favorite. Um, 
it's my favorite Sunday. No, Sunday is my favorite uh, Ramstein song. I've got it with a Attack on Titties AMV. It's pretty good. Uh, I had it on my top 100 list at some point. I like top 100 favorite songs. I liked it that much. Uh, I like it quite well with AMVs. I don't know. On its own, it's pretty good as well. Pretty good atmosphere. It sounds like the, the world is like fucking doomed and shit. And uh, some industrial metals playing over that. I like it. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, Rammstein. Um, they've kind of grown on me. I like them more now. Uh, my colleagues kind of played them to death to me. So I, I was kind of forced to listen to them. But I didn't mind. It was a decent time. So, yeah. I like it. It's probably my favorite Rammstein album. Now they got some album with like um, with some Lucifer on it, and they're talking about uh, that they like tits or some shit or some shit. Um, has to be your thing, of course. Um, I don't know what that's about, but um, sounds like a fun time. Van Halen, I don't consider Van Halen uh, a metal band. I'm not sure what they're doing on here. Uh, it has some metallic riffs though, but I wouldn't call Halen metal. Especially after this album, they were not really metal anymore, or not. They they weren't metal at all, in my opinion. But sure. Uh, Testament was never a huge Testament guy. Um, like I said, more into Exodus and Metallica. So there you go. Probably Slayer as well. That's kind of decent, I guess. When they're when they're not produced by uh, Rick Rubin in in their later career. Holy shit! Did Rick Rubin produce them? After that, after the 2000s, that would explain why God hates us all. Sounds like fucking shit. So there you go. Um, start of areas. I'm not sure. Uh, Megadeth. I hate Dave Mustaine. Uh, the production is kind of shitty on this album. Uh, Peace sells the title track is pretty decent. Wake up dead is quite good. Uh, what else is on this album? I can check it out. I guess. Uh, the Conjuring is pretty good. Uh, good Morning Black Friday is probably my favorite song. Um, my Last Words, decent, decent uh, closer, I guess. I'm Superstitious is still garbage. Um, <laughs> I had a pretty strong opinion on uh, on that in my stream, but uh, yeah, it's still garbage song in my opinion. Still garbage cover. If you like, if you like that cover, get your ears checked. If you if you think Peace Cells is a ten out of ten best Megadeth album, then uh yeah, I don't know. Something went wrong. <laughs> uh there you go. Enslaved, uh was never a huge fan of them. This album sounds really fucking weird and uh kind of vague to me. Like progressive black metal, I don't really get it. Or like I said in my tier list, it sounds like um a progressive metal album done by black metal band. I don't, I don't really get enslaved. Their covers are fucking weird as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. Never got into enslaved. Equilibrium or some shit. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I probably butchered the fuck out of that. Equilibrium or some shit. Equilibrium. I'm gonna keep it with that. If if I didn't say it right, then uh, send me an audio clip of how to pronounce that shit. Uh, I don't have all day, or I guess I do because I'm I'm in quar I'm in quarantine. I can't fucking speak anymore. Thanks, uh, Equilibrium, whatever. <laughs> uh, Judas Priest, uh, Set Wings of Destiny, pretty classic album. I guess Priest uh, in this area was a, a metal band. Uh, I consider them more hard rock back in the day. But uh, people will probably fucking slaughter me if I say that shit. So um, they are metal as fuck, boy. Um, I haven't really listened to it in a while. I don't really listen to old school heavy metal a lot. But Sad Wings is, of course, classic. Uh, Victim of Change is fucking epic. Um, what else? Tyrants, pretty decent. The Ripper, pretty great dreamer deceiver is great uh so the first three songs i would say first three four songs are pretty good after that it goes a bit downhill but uh still decent album i guess uh, especially victim of change that's fucking scream that he does is fucking awesome kind of gives me like uh, early painkiller vibes in a way uh battery pretty good album but uh i was never a huge fan of the battery production never got into it 
uh, that much. Uh, Amorphous, decent album, but uh, it was, it's, was never really my favorite. The album with like the really vague type of veiny cover is it's weird as fuck, but I like that album probably the most production wise. Um, it has Alone on it, which is one of my favorite songs. I love the fuck out of that song. That's one of my favorite songs. Uh, because it's f very relatable, especially in this quarantine uh, period for me right now. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Good, good band. I like them. Want to listen to them more? Um, ACDC, not a metal band. I don't. Highway to Hell is not metal. I don't get it. Almost oh, kind of okay, I guess, but it's hard rock. I don't what. Um, yeah, I don't always like. I understand that people don't always use Metal Storm as a reliable metal uh, side because, you know, shit like ACDC and Deep Purple or, uh, you know, Led Zeppelin. And I know that Deep Purple is like kind of like a metal band, but I don't hear it, you know? <laughs> um, but, you know, fucking Led Zeppelin and ACDC, they're not metal bands, you know? So I understand that people don't... They don't they kind of discredit Metal Storm or they don't use it as a reliable source because shit like this happens. A tier maker as well. I can use Metal Archives, but I do like the ranking system with Metal Storm and Metal Archives doesn't have that. It's just based on uh, stats and popularity, you know. Uh, that's the only thing you can rank it on, which is I don't know. I I do prefer the style of Metal Storm in a way. That's why I use it right, right now, holy shit. There you go. Um, Opeth, great. Uh, not my favorite from them, but pretty uh, gloomy, pretty dark. Uh, every song kind of blends into uh, the beginning of the end, if that makes sense. Do I say that right? Yeah, I guess. I don't care. Um, great album, especially the fucking Circle of Tyrants uh, cover from uh, Celtic Frost, done by Opeth on, on this album. is fucking awesome. I love that cover. So good. It's the best thing uh, associated with Celtic, uh, Celtic Frost ever. Celtic Frost is a decent band, but uh, that fucking cover, oh my god, it blows everything away from that band. Awesome. That's why Opeth is a god tier band. Spoiler, if you haven't seen that tier list. But yeah, Opeth is the best. Opeth is the best metal band. Come at me. I don't think that's an unpopular opinion, but there you go. Um, Colors um, is not my favorite from them, probably. Probably Alaska is my favorite. Uh, with the Selkies, is an amazing song. It was never really that huge into Colors. It just kind of goes on into like a prog metal circle jerk, you know? Um, I don't get that. I don't, I'm not into like really wanky and uh, soulless proc playing, you know? Uh, people say, oh, why do you like Dream Theater so much? But you, you hate like generic proc, you know? Uh, Dream Theater does have a lot of soul in their music if you give them a chance. Uh, they're, they are really enjoyable bands, I think. But you do have to give them a chance. If you you know you have to sit through some wank if you want some soulfulness as well. It's not all soulful playing, like you know some shit like Jeff Buckley or something. Uh, you'd have to kind of wait for that type of shit. They kind of diversify that shit. That's why I like Dream Theater. Uh, Between the Bear and Me does have that as well, but it's it's very infrequent uh, from what I've seen. It's like really a lot of wank, and sometimes you get some soulful playing, which is it's not really for me, I guess. Uh, Maybe I'll give Between the Bear and Me another chance. I did say I want to make a video about them, but no one really gave a shit, so <laughs> I didn't do it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Overkill. I don't like them. was never a huge fan of them. Um, I don't know. I prefer the Overkill album by Motorhead. Let's keep it at that. Isis. Amazing. Amazing band. Once again, Panopticon is like uh, it's more metal, I guess. It has more metal riffs. So it's higher on this list. But I do prefer Oceanic because it's a bit more subtle. Isis is very subtle, I know. Um, so did we, of course. Classic song. In Fiction is quite literally my favorite song ever. So that's kind of hard to debate there, like I said in the tier list. Um, Syndic Calls, I think, is on this thing. Uh, Willis. Uh, Will yeah, Wills Dissolve. The fuck is a Willis? Uh, Wills Dissolve, Syndical is pretty good. Alter's Course, I quite like. Grinning Mouth is uh, fucking heavy as hell. 
Backlit is quite good. It's mainly uh, the first and the third track that really like are beyond God tier, and the rest of the album is pretty good as well. So there you go. <clears throat> uh, Ice is still amazing. Might be my favorite metal band. I don't know, or Opet or Agalog. It kind of goes back and forth between those three. Uh, Atheist, um, tech dev band, not my favorite, but uh, decent if you want more tech dev. Summoning, awful bands, uh, kind of inspired by Burzum, I think. I don't get uh, Summoning. I don't get it. Um, Crack the Sky, probably my favorite Mastodon album. It's it's epic. It's proc, you know. It's kind of like the last proc album I gave a shit about before the whole genre turned generic as fuck. Uh, 2009, you know, Black Clouds and Silver Lining, Silver Linings by Dream Theater and um, Crack the Sky by Mastodon are... The last two, I would say, that I found enjoyable. 2009. Um, so, yeah. Pretty good. Um, Oblivion is on there, of course. The I love the title track. It's probably my favorite. Uh, the Sar, Caesar, some shit. That's pretty good. Um, Divinations, you know, pretty good shit. So, yeah. Mastodon, I like it quite a bit. Uh, probably, probably, probably my favorite. Fuck. Uh, from them. So, there you go. Um, what else? Amorphous, Under the Red Cloud. Uh, not my favorite, but um, I understand why people like it. Or, I guess, gave it a chance. Didn't really get into it, but uh, maybe later. <coughs> Black Sabbath, uh, good. This is a good album. Uh, I think this is the first Black Sabbath album. Uh, pretty enjoyable. It's not my favorite, but uh, I think this is Michael Eckerfeld's favorite album ever. So that's something, I guess. Um, I think it's quite good, but um, there's not really an album I return to when I have, you know, the uh, the self-titled and Master of, Re Master of Reality and Paranoid. You know, those are my favorites. And uh, maybe Heaven and Hell is also really good from uh, from the Dio era. I do quite like that as well. And Mob Rules, pretty classic. Um Morning Rise, pretty great op open album. Uh, I think it's underrated. Um, fucking, what is on here again? It has some good shit on it, I would say. Good shit. Um, Night in the Silent Waters, really, really epic. Nectar, pretty good. Black Rose Immortal, oh my god. I haven't heard this song in a while because it's 20 minutes long, but uh, <coughs> if you sit through the whole thing and hear that fucking scream by Michael Eckerfeld, oh my god. I get fucking shivers. Such an amazing song. It's kind of like the the proto Blackwater Park in a way. It's it's fucking awesome. Um, to bid you farewell is my most played song on the album. It's probably my favorite. Uh, that's pretty good vibes. It used to be my favorite open song uh, for a while. I think it's probably Referee, Harlequin, or um, Burden Now uh, from you know their later shit. Their last two like metal albums, so to speak. Uh, yeah, good shit. I like it. It's o it's Opet, of course. <laughs> uh, Arcturus, The Sham Mirrors. Um, it's pretty good. It's not really... I don't know. I never really got into Arcturus that much, as much as other metal bands. But, um, yeah, Kinetic is pretty good. Nightmare Heaven is my favorite. Uh, and Absurdin is decent. Starcross I quite like. Radical Cut is all right. Uh, it's kind of all scatter in a way. It's kind of kind of Kind of a scattershot album. Um, so yeah, it has to be your thing. It's avant-garde metal. I think avant-garde proc in a way. That's avant-garde. Yeah, it's avant-garde progressive in a way, I guess. Um, Arcturus is a weird band, but I do like them. It's, it's not Gorgas, at least. <laughs> I'm so fucking happy that the band isn't on there. Oh my god. Atonal garbage. Um, Lake of Tears, pretty generic kind of goth doom bands i was interested in their uh in their labels in their labeling but um i checked it out and it sounded kind of lifeless to me i don't know never really got into it uh so there you go what else uh testament not a big fan like i said for their first album saturnus saturnus is a really like bleak really weird type of doom metal bands uh, the vocals are fucking weird. The compositions are really slow and uh, vague to me. 
Uh, Saturnus is a weird fucking band. I checked out that album with the with the lady with the fucking the two face and shit. I don't get Saturnus. <laughs> They're they kind of uh, they don't disturb me, but they weird me out. They w really weird me out, and that cover with the two face lady on it is like really high on the side. So maybe I should check it out a bit more, but it it fucking weird me out. I, I don't get. Uh, that band they're really weird to me um, Lost Horizon I think a power metal band didn't really check them out uh, Iron by Ensiferum fucking awesome awesome album uh, Iron the title track is amazing uh, Sword Chant is pretty good uh, Till Revenge I quite like Slayer of Lights pretty good Into Battle is, is a fucking amazing song uh, probably in my top 10 favorite songs ever. I fucking love that song with the Ava AMV. Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> and Severin is such a good fucking band, man. I love them. Like, uh, kind of like a, a full, kind of like a mellow death band in a way. Folky, melodic death metal. I fucking love it. They're so good. It's probably my, f it's probably like their best tone in a way, but their first album is more consistent. Uh, Lie Lie Hey is uh, is also amazing, amazing song where you like it's it's like kind of moody and kind of like acoustic Celtic, and then like it fucking hits you in in the chorus. It just the power chord comes in and oh my god, fucking uh fucking orgasm, fucking orgasm. And how would I describe Insiferum? <laughs> fucking orgasm. Oh my, god. they're so good, such a good band. Um, okay. Emperor. Um, I've heard like a critic I follow say that this album sounds like a like a jet engine plane lifting off, and that's what, what your audio, what you're listening to. Uh it's kind of accurate in a way. It's kind of like fucking bullseye. It's, it's like really over bloated. It's really over produced in a way. Uh it's kind of funny because uh most black metal is underproduced as fuck. But uh, Emperor is Kind of overproduced in a way. Uh, but they're symphonic, they're epic. Um, Into the Pandemonium is probably my... F Into the Pantheon, I think, is my favorite song of this album. Uh, you also have I'm the Black Wizards, which is, of course, epic. It's a classic. Burning Shadow of Silence is pretty good. In Into the Affinity of Thoughts is good. In a way, In O A Santana, I think, is a quieter, moodier piece towards... Towards the Pantheon is my favorite, especially the live performance is fucking awesome. Emperor Live fucking slays. They fucking slay. Uh, I do prefer to listen to them live, so there you go. Pretty good album. Probably my favorite from them, or their second album. I'll try to get into it a bit more, but uh, it's weird. But it has an interesting vibe. Uh, Mike Seatown cites it as one of his favorites, so I want to check it out a bit more. Emperor is good shit. Um, Carcass, good album, but I prefer Into no, what? What was the album called again? In no, not the Nirvana compilation. Uh, it's just a side. Um, Necroticism, uh, Dissenting, the Insalubrious is my favorite, but it's not on this list. Uh, it almost would be though. It's like pretty high to the to the top two hundred, but uh, not quite. Uh, Symphony X is probably like their most soulful album. Uh, pretty good. I like it. Um, I maybe should listen to it more, but I don't know. I never really am in a uh, symphonic or power metal mood, but maybe I should. I like usually my go-to band is Gone Areas, but they're not on this list. They're a bit too obscure, I think, for this list, but they are pretty good. I would recommend them if you like Symphony X. You should listen to Gone Gun Areas, in my opinion. Uh, Sabotage, uh, the Queensryche inspired bands. Uh, I think they shit all over fucking Symphony X. A fuck of uh, Symphony X? No, um, Crimson Glory. No, um, sorry, Symphony X. They're decent. Um, Crimson Glory fucking sucks. I hate that band. <laughs> uh, no, no, listen to Sabotage. Uh, they kind of sound like a Queensryche inspired band, like I said in the tier list. Uh, whereas that other band just sounds like dull garbage, in my opinion. I don't get it. Vocals are fucking awful. Sabotage is a decent band, though. I like their last album the most, but it's not on this list. Uh, Riot. I think uh, old heavy metal bands. Don't know. Riverside. Eh. Battery. Um, 
this almost sounds a bit rough around the edges. I think that um, fire over, how was the arm called again? Fire death or some shit? Blood fire death. Yeah, blood fire death is probably their best sounding album, but uh, this album is a bit rough around the edges, but people like it more. I guess the songs are better. I've only heard it like like once or twice. It didn't really leave a re lasting impact on me, so. Maybe should listen more to battery, but I don't know. They're not. Their production was always a bit off for me, or from um, I forgot the fucking guy's name. Uh, Kuwaitan or something. Something with Kuwait, I think. Oh, this guy called again. Uh, Quarton, Quarton. Yeah, I think Quarton. These guys are not giving me an easy time with their fucking names. Jesus. Um. There you go. Okay, what else? Uh, Terion, not a fan. Virgin Steel, it's kind of like a symphonic band, I guess. Symphonic power metal. Uh, wasn't really for me, I guess. My Dying Bride. Um, this is a pretty weird album. I don't get why it's so highly rated. Ace of Spades, uh, classic. Uh, I guess Motorhead is a metal band. Uh, they consider themselves, or Lemmy considered himself, a punk. That's what I consider him as well, but I guess it's metal, uh, sure. I don't really mind. Artillery, artillery uh, generic trash model band. I don't care. Sabotage, pretty decent. Not my favorite, but uh, all right. Haggard is a weird type of symphonic band, like symphonic death. Uh, the compositions are pretty good. The riffs are quite good. I listen to this album sometimes. Uh, the vocals are fucking weird, though. The vocals kind of sound like uh, Cookie Monster is like drowning through blood or some shit. It sounds fucking gross. His voice is gross and weird. Uh, so if you listen to the instrumentals, if you just listen to like to the tracks instrumentally, I think this band is pretty good. But the vocals are fucking garbage in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Orphan Land, um, not my favorite uh, type of Celtic band. I think folk. Yeah, they're decent, but I don't know. I don't really return a lot to the album. Um, Blind Guardian. I uh, should listen to them more, a bit to their later stuff. I think Imaginations I listen more to, but I don't know. It has to be your thing, of course. Merciful Fate, uh, back to back. Uh, I probably do prefer Don't Break the Oath. It sounds a bit more produced and a bit more cleaner. A bit more like uh, fully fleshed out. Melissa has a bit more like a rough idea. So there are different camps on what Merciful Fate album you prefer. I prefer the second one, but uh, of course it's up for debate. The album covers are fucking awesome, by the way. This album cover fucking rules. Like like a fucking demon uh, going through the fire, like trying to reach to, to fucking kill you probably. Awesome album cover, by the way. So... Uh, Melissa's pretty good as well, but uh, Don't Break the Oath is a bit more epic in my opinion. Uh, Dead Wing by Pork Pantry, a uh, great album. I don't really consider it a metal album. It's more like prog rock in a way. Uh, but I do love it. It's it's great. Uh, the title track is pretty good. Um, Melatron Heart is decent, I guess. Somewhere, not somewhere I belong. <laughs> um, arriving somewhere, but not here. Uh, sorry if that was a bit too loud. Um, Arriving somewhere but not here is pretty good. Good shit. Um, what else is good? Uh, I've listened to that album so much. Shallow is pretty decent. Steven Wilson literally called it Shallow because it's just a generic metal song in a way. <laughs> it's just like a generic metal riff, but I really like it. I don't know. The dude writes better metal than most metal bands, and like he's trying to make it sound generic on purpose. I fucking love Steven Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god eat shit any fucking metal or prog metal band uh, that came after Pork Country oh my god uh, eat shit um, yeah great album uh, and also Glass Arm Shattered uh, when I'm depressed I put a song on and I fucking zone out to that song awesome awesome feeling I love I love the closing song of this album really good uh, and Lazarus of course is good as well I think it's a bit too overrated but uh, it's a pretty decent it's a, it's a decent like pop rock song if you're if you're gonna like um, get tell me with a straight face Lazarus is a fucking metal song um, yeah I'm gonna la laugh at you square in the face like 
I don't give a fuck. That song is fucking pop, mate. Uh, but it's a pretty good. Uh, it's a good. Uh, it's a good pop song, but it's not metal. Metal storm, you know. Uh, Sodom, <laughs> fucking trash metal band. Uh, pretty decent. I like it. Uh, it's a bit too generic though. That's why I don't put it on. But it, uh, Sodom has a fucking great uh, trash metal tone. So Sodom is good, but it's a bit too straightforward for me. I don't know. It's it's a bit too generic. If I really want like a straightforward trash metal band, I go to Exodus. You know so. There you go. Well, sorry, uh, my overkill theory. It does go. It does come to show that it's better than uh, overkill the band. So there you go. Uh, it's pretty decent, but um, I don't really like Modrat. But it's better than the band, I guess. So there you go. The the title track is pretty great, though. I do like that song, especially live. But I don't think that's a, that's an unpopular opinion. Um, shit. What else? Uh, Imperium, I don't know. Uh, Led Zeppelin 2, not metal. But uh, Ram Ramble On is pretty decent, I guess. I don't really get it. Um, yeah. Okay. Um... Dark Tranquility, uh, pretty decent bands, especially in this time when they still helped out in Flames, uh, pretty good. But it's not my favorite. Probably Fiction is my favorite uh, Dark Tranquility song, or <laughs> Dark Tranquility. The uh, I'm thinking about the Isis song again. Uh, Dark Tranquility is my uh, or fucking Jesus. Uh, Fiction is my favorite Dark Tranquility album. Fucking hell. Um, yeah, I was a bit distracted. Um, yeah, pretty good shit. Um, how was that one song called again? Terminus. Terminus is fucking awesome with that Helsing. A I got an Helsing AMV with that shit. That's fucking awesome. <coughs> uh, so yeah, there you go. Pretty good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, yeah. Uriah Heap. I don't consider them metal. They're a hard rock band. Uh, there was like one person on my channel that liked them, but... I don't know. He he was a fan, but I don't. I never really cared for Uriah Heap that much. Uh, they're decent hard rock band though. But uh, if I want hard rock, then I go to um, Deep Purple or Rainbow. Rainbow's kind of like hard rock metal, I guess. But I don't know. If I want that old school seventies like type of metal rock sound, I go to Rainbow. That's my favorite band in that genre. In in that style in that period, I guess. <coughs> Okay, Death, uh, pretty good album, but it's not my favorite from them. Um, Defenders of the Fates, pretty decent Judas Priest album, but not my favorite. Oh, two Judas Priest albums back to back. Uh, I guess this album is pretty decent. Uh, Electric Eye is awesome. Bloodstone is pretty good. Take These Chains is a great chorus. It kind of sounds like a, like a pop chorus, but it's pretty catchy. I'll, I do like that. Uh, the title track is pretty decent. You've got another thing coming. It's a bit too uh, death rock sounding for me, but it is a very popular song, I guess, so people like it. Uh, yeah, decent album. Uh, and this album has one song that I really like on it. Um, the Sentinel is great. Uh, Free Will Burning is pretty good. The title track is decent. Night Comes Down I like uh, quite as much. Or I do like it. Uh, I do like it as well. There you go. I'm going to stumble on my words now, so <laughs> maybe it should be a bit quicker. I don't know. Be quick or be dead, like Mayo would say. Uh, but that album is not there. Uh, Just a Race by In Flames. Amazing album. Uh, production is amazing. Vocals are pretty good, I would say. Especially for In Flames standard, they're probably the best on this album. Um, Moonshield is great. Jester Dan Jester's, the Jester's Dance, amazing instrumental. Artifacts of Black... Artifacts of the Black Rain, really fucking tight song. Love that song. Um, Lord Hypnos has a um, just sounds fucking heavy. Has a really great like kind of like a groove riff in the in the in the bridge. I fucking love that riff. Uh, Lord Hypnos is probably my favorite personal favorite of this album. Uh, Jester's Race pretty good. Uh, December Flower I love. It goes fucking heavy and shit. Wayfair kind of sounds like a post-hardcore song. Uh, yeah, the 
in flames is fucking great i love them probably my personal favorite on from them is um horkel or clayman clayman is really fucking catchy because it's also a bit more alternative so i do like that on probably the most from them probably uh, uh it's the catchiest one i would say well you know with bullet ride and pinball map and only for the week oh my god fucking awesome i love that in flames is an amazing band i always love them they they were my mo I, I I did that fucking Spotify rap thing with uh with my Discord server, and Inflames was my most played band of of that year. So yeah, goes to show I still love Inflames. <laughs> if you couldn't tell at this point, if you follow this channel for a while, um, Insomnium, I don't get it. Uh, they're also a metal event. I don't I don't get Insomnium. If someone wants to like recommend a song to me, I'm down for it, but. I never got into this band. I don't know why. I'm 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 down to try it out because they're Matter Death and Matter Death is an, is a fucking awesome genre. It's probably my favorite, but yeah, I never got into it. I don't know, but uh, I'm willing to try it again. Anatima, good band, not my favorite. I like their like their uh, more proc pop style later better. Especially uh, Weather Systems is my favorite from them, but uh, Alternative 4 and uh, that on with the purple cover. I know that those are fan favorites, but uh, Judgment, I think. Yeah, Judgment is pretty decent. It's a bit too mellow for me, or that shit is a bit too vague and shit. I don't know, I never got into it that much, but uh, their later stuff is really good, though. Like Crystal Clear shouting and just uh, really relaxing to put on. Alternative 4 is decent as well, but I don't know, it's a bit too moody for me, I guess. But that's on the team in general. In general, I like their acoustics, uh, acoustic instrumentals with the Annalise vocals. I think that was her name. Uh, I do like the style a lot that they did later. So, yeah, that's why that band will high there for me in the uh, in the tier list. Uh, good shit. I like I like that band. I like on the team. Um, what else? Pain observation. Uh, kind of like a decent like kind of cry porn type of bands like proc metal uh i would say they're decent they're not my favorite bands necessarily but um i do think they're decent for sure uh probably my favorite is b which has a bit more of a concept i think maybe this is a concept album as well i don't really give a shit but uh b is i don't know yeah, that's more my vibe. It's, it's it's a bit more airier. It's a bit more gloomy. So it's a bit more my vibe. Air Empires is, is an amazing song. Uh, but yeah, that's not on this list. Uh, but yeah, that's probably my favorite. Winder, uh, decent melodic black metal band. Um, I do prefer Dissection. Uh, but the album that's on there is not my favorite. 1184 is probably my favorite melodic black metal album, if that makes sense. Yeah, I would say that's probably my favorite. Or uh, one of the earlier Winder albums, or the last one, I don't know. All Winder shit is good. Ch check out Winder, good band. <laughs> uh, Running Wild, not my favorite. At the Gates, they kind of grew me, uh, especially Blinded by Fear is great. The opening song, I think, and the Tower track is really good. Um, yeah, good bands. I like them. Um, so, yeah, that is uh, probably my fave. Uh, blind up a fear. Um, I still think they're overrated as fuck, but they're they're decent bands. It's a man, it's a melodic death metal band. I like it, you know, it's good shit. So there you go. It's just not the greatest thing ever in the genre, you know, but it is a good album, I would say. Uh, Judgment, like I said, decent album, but I prefer their later shit from Monotima. Uh, and just as for all, but Metallica. Um, not my favorite Metallica album, uh, but it is decent. You know, one is on there, which is might be the best Metallica song. I got it with a Berserk AMV, fucking awesome. You know, I love that shit. Um, Blackened is great. What else is on there? Dire Eve is, is um, heavy. It's fast. It's exhilarating. Uh, what else is on there? Um, I was just instrumental called again. Yeah, the Talos track is on there, which is pretty good. It goes on a bit too long, in my opinion. Um, is to live, yeah, to live is to die is the instrumental, right? Yeah, to live is to die is awesome. Love that song, awesome instrumental. 
I, th- I think that's a fucking instrumental, but it is a good, it's good shit. It's, it's like a memorial piece for um, Cliff Burton, the greatest bassist ever, I would say. He, he, he fucking ruled. Cliff Burton fucking rules, but I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. Cliff Burton just is an awesome, he was an awesome bassist, you know, he still is in my eyes. Um, but I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. Mandalorian, uh, I never really got into The Gathering. I prefer that yellow uh, generator but album. Um, I should click on this one. I prefer their like their, their post rocky type of style over their golf metal sound. It never really works as a golf metal band to me. Um, they're probably still my favorite Dutch bands. They are Dutch. Uh, I do probably like them the most in that in the, in my country. How to measure a planet? Yellow generator, but uh, yes, that's probably my favorite. Uh, they did some like later like art rock type of shit. I never really checked it out. I kind of fell asleep after the album, after the planets, you know. Uh, if then else, I was kind of like, eh, this is getting boring. So I just kind of moved on. Uh, but yeah, I do like that album. Pretty good. So <coughs> I'm kind of curious, which is my favorite? Out of the top 50, which is my favorite one? Um, probably, I would probably say Gathering. Out of my own country. Um, I don't even know most of these bands. I guess, yeah, either Gathering or Arion is probably my favorite. I never really liked Epic or with Entertation. Those ain't my uh, symphonic bands. I like Nightwish. But that's, just, that's kind of about it in symphonic. It's, I'm not a huge symphonic guy. Um, Morbid Angel, uh, Morbid Angel, awesome uh, band, great band, great death metal band, uh, great fucking cover. I love uh, Altars of Madness, amazing album cover. Uh, with the fucking ghouls coming out of that portal, like wanting to fucking murder you. I love that cover. Uh, it looks fucking creepy. It looks weird. It looks fucking uh, atmospheric in a way. It looks brutal. Good shit. Um, the album itself is a bit too... Uh, it sounds a bit g- too generic for me. There are some good songs on the show. Evil Spells and... Um, fucking Maze of Torment is pretty good. And Chapel of Ghouls my favorite. Because Chapel of fucking Ghouls, you know. Um, yeah, I do prefer the Steve Buttfucker albums a bit more. Um, if I can see that. You know, uh, I do Covenant is pretty good. Formula is Fatal to the Flesh, probably my personal favorite. The fucking tone on that album is awesome. Uh, Nothing Is is still my favorite Morbid Angel song. Um, I, have it, I have it saved, you know, on my YouTube and Spotify. It's it's a fucking awesome song. Uh, that, that whole album, the atmosphere and the songs and the, the, the songwriting on that album is top notch. So it's probably my favorite uh, Morbid Angel album. Or Gateway. Gateway is also pretty good. The uh, atmosphere on these albums are pr- pretty pretty good. More potential good bands. I probably prefer them over Death now um, because they're a bit slower and a bit more doomy uh, compared to uh, doomy. <laughs> uh, they're just a bit more doom metal driven, like Death Doom, uh, as opposed to Death, which is more tech Death, you know. Uh, doom, you know, slower kind of compositions are more my type of thing. So. I prefer Morbid Angel in that stance, but uh, Death is, you know, a flawless band, and Morbid Angel, they have some stinkers, so... Death is, in a way, the better band, but I do prefer Mo- Morbid Angel, I would say. I would say pretty confidently, no? That might be an unpopular opinion, but I don't know. Morbid Angel, they just have the vibe. I like them. Um, what's up? Catatonia, Brave Murder Day. Uh, Catatonia is an awesome band. Uh, Brave Murder Day isn't my favorite from them. I have like, I think here, Discouraged Ones. Uh, amazing atmosphere. Kind of has a shoegaze vibe as well. Uh, Dead Out, you know, amazing song. Uh, that's probably still my personal favorite as far as sound goes. Uh, but Brave Murder Day is really fucking epic as well. They have Michael Eckefeld. I think that kind of says it all. That's automatically awesome, you know. So that's why I gave Edge of Sanity a chance, and that that also was pretty good. So yeah, there you go. 
Um, Anna Mabatool, one of my favorite albums. Uh, the title track is amazing. Uh, Eulogy is probably my most played right now. Uh, Stinkfist is great. H has a good atmosphere. Love that song. There's like a fucking song on that album, Ions, I think. Or uh, Die Hirsch, I don't know. Um, some songs where German is like baking cookies, but like every person that isn't German is like, oh my God, this is uh, racist. Or, oh my God, what's, what's happening? A fucking World War Three or some shit. But it's literally a German guy baking cookies. It's, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> uh, tool, yeah. They're trolls. They're massive trolls. Still don't care for the last album, though, uh, if anyone was wondering. Still don't give a shit. Uh, Iron Maiden, peace of mind. It, uh, decent album. Not my favorite. The Troopers on it. Uh, Troopers, my favorite Iron Maiden song, but um, that's kind of a basic bitch opinion, but I don't know. Uh, I do like it, but it's a bit too one-dimensional for me. It's not my favorite Maiden album, but it's it's decent. Though. It's, it's a decent new wave for British Heavy Metal album. Maiden is the best one in that genre, so there you go. I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. Um, Draconian Times. Great fucking album. Love that album. <coughs> yeah. Um, that's a good one. En Enchantment is one of my favorite songs. Fucking great piano opening. Uh, when that fucking golf power chord comes in. Amazing. Amazing vibes. The chants, you know. The atmosphere is just perfect on that song. Hollowed Land is epic. Last Time is pretty good. Fred for Failure I quite like. Shadow Kings is really good. Uh, the first half of the album is pretty flawless. The second half does kind of wane on me a bit. But uh, yeah, Enchantment is a fucking amazing song. Well, that, um, that's one of my top 100 favorite songs. Uh, Paradise Lost is a pretty great band. Maybe they're even top tier. I did say that they're high tier, but maybe they're even top tier. I do, do have to kind of be in the mood for them. But um, yeah, Draconian Times is a fucking great album. I do love, uh, I do love me some Paradise Lost. Um, Aquilas, good album. Um, it's a bit too, it's a bit obscure, but it is a really good composed symphonic, uh, kind of like a symphonic black metal album in a way. Uh, it's good shit. Uh, the Aquilas dude, I followed him on Facebook for a while. Then I got hacked on Facebook, and I lost interest in the site completely because Marcus Cookberg, uh, fucked that site. But uh, Aquilas, he uh, he posted some funny shit. He was also into on a team. Um. Yeah, Aquilus is a good band. I didn't didn't have a chance yet to talk about them, but I had them on my wall for a while. I did buy the album because I wanted to support Aquilus. Uh, he seems like a cool dude, so I was like, yeah, let's support this guy. Um, so yeah, that was when I was still in my uh, vinyl days. Now I'm just kind of like, I listen to everything on Spotify, so whatever. Um, but yeah, good band. Uh, or Aquilus is a one-man army. I think he's kind of like in a way the modern uh battery in a way because he's your one he's a one man black metal band you know uh, or a burzum in a way there are a lot of black metal bands that are like one man like one man projects in a way probably because they would fucking murder each other so that makes sense uh but there you go uh nihil is a great opener smoke falls probably my favorite Leighton tissel is uh, pretty epic night bell is a fucking mood um yeah the second album did drop by, uh, by Aquilus. I did wait that for. I did wait on that album for a while. Then I lost interest, and I think it dropped like two years ago. And I was like, "Oh, okay, cool." It had a lower rating, so it didn't live up to the hype. Uh, you had to like wait on the fucking sequel for like ten years. Like it, it's too, it's still it's ten thousand days all over again. Um, but yeah, this album is pretty great though. I do recommend it. I have it on vinyl. Uh, Moonspell, I don't know. Um, Static Fear, I don't know. Uh, Camelot, my favorite uh, Camelot album. I haven't listened to it in a while, so I'm not gonna go in depth about it. But uh, I should listen to it. But I should listen to it more. I do like it. So uh, yeah, maybe in the future. I don't know. Camelot is a pretty decent band, though. Pretty decent, like uh, power symphonic type of band. Uh, Primordial, pretty uh, pretty decent band. Um, I have sh uh, Empire. I think yeah, Gallows Hymn is pretty great. Empire Falls pretty good. The album does kind of go on after that. It does kind of drag on, but the first two songs are pretty great though. So there you go. Uh, Insomnium, still not a fan. I think this is also like a, a one song album, which I'm like, why are bands doing this? It's not enjoyable. 
I want individual songs to enjoy, you know. I don't want one 60 minute song. Like, bro. I kinda said it in I kinda said it in Dutch. Um bro, I don't give a fuck. Why are people doing this? Who's asking for this, you know? Fuck. I love the cover though. The cover's great, but I don't I don't listen to one song albums. Why? Why are people doing this? I don't know. It's kind of like a personal pet peeve, but I don't, I don't fucking like that. I, I like to like have individual songs on my Spotify playlist. That's how most people listen to music now, and not as a, as a one piece album. You're not gonna you're 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 not gonna get fucking streams, you know. But that's that's a whole other debate for a, a whole other day. You know, if your album is that good, people will listen to it front to back. They will listen to all the songs. You don't have to force one fucking song down their throat. Um, I'm I'm getting a bit mad though. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of like a personal beef that I have with like one song albums. I just don't get it, you know. Fuck. Even that Crimson Two shit, I have that shit dissected down, you know, on YouTube. So yeah, I don't even think that Spotify gives you that option. But there you go. Uh, it's just a personal pet peeve. <laughs> uh, Bolt Thrower, kind of like a generic. Um, um, death metal band that never really liked it personally um blind guardian not my favorite blind guardian album but still decent i guess uh i should listen more to them pain of salvation uh eh not my favorite like i said dirt by Alice in chains pretty decent album um the vibe is a bit too um the vibe is pretty depressing and kind of weird, so I'm not the biggest fan of that. Um, well, it is it is kind of a moody tone. Uh, Down in the Hole, I think, is a pretty generic kind of song. I was never a huge fan of that. Uh, what else is on there? Uh, Woods is an amazing song. I have that in my top 10, I think, or top 20 favorite songs. Uh, Dan Bones is epic opener. Rooster is is a fucking tragedy. As in, uh, it's a tragic tale of uh, not la not Lane Staley, uh fucking that uh, Jerry controls uh, Jerry controls dad going through fucking hell in that song. Jesus, uh, yeah, that that song is a fucking mood. Um, yeah, Dirt is pretty great. I do like it. Um, yeah, it's not. It's probably not my favorite Alice in Chains project. I would probably say the self-titled or. Um, fucking uh jar of flies which is an ep is probably my favorite project from them uh somewhere in time by iron maiden pretty good um probably my favorite iron maiden album the the vibe i like it a bit better it's a bit more futuristic it's kind of has it like a now that i think about it it's kind of has like a cyberpunk type of aesthetic to it or sounds which is pretty cool uh yeah i like it it's probably my favorite uh, fucking alexander the great and wasted years is sketchy as hell Alexander is fucking epic. Um, Cut Somewhere in Time, the first song was really great. So yeah, a lot of good shit on this album. I like it. Interesting vibe. Gamma Ray, I don't know. Uh, In Absentia, Pork Point 3, not my favorite album from them, but it is pretty good. Uh, Trains is on this album, so if you want to start somewhere with a Pork Point 3 album, then this is probably the best one to start with. It's a good gateway. Um, <clears throat> fucking... I was other one called again. Um, Blackest Eyes is great. I love the song. Uh, Trains is, of course, a staple. Uh, Lips of Ashes, pretty good. Sound of Music, I quite like. Gravity Eyelids, decent. Wedding Nails, kind of an awesome metal instrumental. I do like that quite a bit. Um, okay. The first half is pretty decent. Protocol is kind of like a pop rock song um three has a great bass line i love uh, colin edwin's bass on this uh song uh last four songs are kind of whatever to me uh heart attack and a lay by is fucking heart crushing if you know the story of that song uh yeah the other songs are kind of whatever to me so it kind of ha kind of has a weak ending but the first like six or seven songs are really good so there you go um <clears throat> pretty good album i do prefer death window um vector Probably the best album. It's a bit too rough around the edges for me to consistently listen to, but I do like it. Um, 
Sepultura, great production. I love the mood on this album. Uh, the songs are a bit uninspired sounding, though. It's a bit uninspiring. I do prefer Arise. But the production and the tone and the, the riffs are fucking great on this album. They're, they're, uh, the, the songwriting is just a bit too underbaked for me. <coughs> In my opinion. Um, Gojira, not a huge fan. There, I think there's one song on here which is called uh, The Heaviest Matter in the Universe or some shit. And I'm like, that is kind of cute. <laughs> Step aside. <laughs> you know, fucking, um, fucking Meshuga or La a Dillinger Escape Plan or fucking what else? Like any anything fucking gent or um, math core, you know? Converge. Fucking converge. <laughs> <laughs> Step aside, motherfucker. <laughs> That's some heavy shit. Um, yeah. Uh, Gojira, I think they're fucking mid there. They're mid as fuck, in my opinion. I don't get it. Um, Moon Sorrow, I don't know. Nevermore. Uh, decent band. Probably not my favorite from them. But uh, it's a decent, like, kind of proc trash type of band. Type of album. Uh, I should listen to it more, but I don't know. The, the vocalist will never really my... Uh, not my forte, I guess, but um, I guess I can give it another shot. <coughs> uh, Emperor. Uh, this is that album that Mike Sitan likes so much, and it is the highest rated Emperor album. It's almost in the top 50, damn. Uh, pretty good, I guess. It's interesting, but like I said, I wanted to give it another shot. I haven't done that yet, so maybe in the future. It is an interesting album, though, because you know Mike Sitan likes it a lot, so I should like it as well. Because that dude is fucking chill. But I don't know. Uh, maybe in the future. Arion. I should listen more to Arion. He might be my favorite Dutch artist. But uh, I haven't really gotten into a album from this. But this album covers are fucking awesome though. They're, they, they look like adventurous uh, fucking art pieces and shit. Like really interesting. So you should check them out. Arion's pretty good. I should slack less on him. You know, he's like a progressive conceptual metal artist, you know. Uh, he's pretty good. I should check him out more. He's pretty interesting. Um, Green Carnation. Uh, another one song album type of band. I don't... I've listened to it like maybe once or twice. I don't get it, you know. It's it's weird. The album cover's pretty good though. Um, but yeah, I've I've done a Green Carnation rant in the tier list video. If you want to hear my opinion on this band. I'm not going to recite it phrase by phrase because most people probably don't even know this band. But uh, I have some history with uh, I have some history with Green Carnation. Um, yeah, let's just say it's not my favorite album from them. <laughs> Listen to the acoustic one. I think that's still their best one. It's pretty chill. Uh, this album is kind of whatever to me. It's it's a one it's a one song fucking album. I don't like those albums, like I said. Candlemass, not really my thing. Uh, Fear of a Blank Planet by Porkman Tree. This is my favorite Porkman Tree album. It actually has a... Oh, it used to have a 9. Usually when uh, albums have a 8.95, you know, that usually rounds it out to a 9. Uh, it used to have a 9. Now it has an, an 8.9 again. Um, yeah, but uh, Fear of a Blank Planet is great. I love it. Uh, the tile track is on there, which is pretty good. Uh fucking my ashes fucking heart crushing song amazing song uh sentimental is really great anesthetize fucking masterpiece you know um it's probably my top 20 songs ever amazing song uh let's sleep together fucking disturbing fucking like really distorted really like creepy kind of sounding Really interesting type of vibe. Uh, yeah, Fear, Fear of Blank Planet. Great fucking album. Uh, it's definitely my favorite Pork Country album. The album cover is kind of garbage, though. I did discuss that on uh, a Cover Killer Nation stream once, or a preview. Uh, that album cover is hot garbage, but uh, yeah. Maybe a, a remaster or some shit with another cover. I would appreciate that. Because Steven Wilson is still into remastering shit a lot. A great album, though. I love it. But uh, that that cover ain't great. <laughs> I did agree with uh, with that old fan of mine, of that old viewer of mine that said that once in this, in in that preview. I do agree. I still agree. It was I think three years ago. <laughs> I still agree. Um, King Diamond. I'm not a huge King Diamond guy. I do prefer Merciful Fates. Uh, King Diamond. He sounds a bit too uninspired for me. Just like a generic heavy metal artist, you know. That's kind of directionless. I think he made a Christmas song, you know. 
That's what YFBS claimed at least. So uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of King Diamond. I don't get it. I do like Merciful Fate though. So it's a bit more interesting. Um, yeah. Summoning. I hate Summoning, but this is probably their, their, their most listenable album, but I still don't get Summoning. If someone wants to explain what they're about, then maybe, but I don't like them. Like them. Um, Tiamat, pretty good, pretty decent, like, goth metal album. Um, it's kind of weird and vague sounding a bit, uh, but the R is a pretty great song. Uh, has a pretty good metal riff, but uh, besides that, the album is just kind of like vague nonsense, so I don't really put it on a lot, because the atmosphere kind of weirds me out. Um, but the R is pretty good, though. That's a good that's a good song, but besides that, I'm not a huge uh, Tiamat fan. I think they're just a bit too old for me. But yeah, there you go. Uh, Moon Sorrow, I don't know. King Crimson is not a metal band, but uh, I do think they inspired heavier riffs and like being more experimental red is a pretty good album but i don't i don't know what king crimson is on there it's not it's not a metal album they're not a metal band i think they had an experimental phase where they did try metal but the, i mean they're not a fucking metal band i mean come on now lorks tongs and aspic or however you say that lorks lorks tongue and aspic fucking metal no uh <laughs> um a good album though i like that album but um uh, it ain't metal bro in a metal. If someone wants to discuss that with me, uh, God bless your fucking soul. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Crimson Glory, this was the album I checked out. I fucking hate the vocals on this album. And the compositions are dull. Uninspired. I don't get I don't get it. Why do people like it? I don't I don't get it. Just listen to Queen Strike, mate. Just listen to the band they're trying to rip off. Just listen to that band. Uh, yeah, because this came out. Oh, this actually came out a year before Minecraft. That's interesting. Is Crimson Glory even a fucking rip off, though? Because I do remember them just sounding like dual guard. Yeah, 86. I think that Queen Strike uh, was in. Um, I'm kind of surprised that they're not the first. Yeah, here that they're not the first band that shows up. Um, yeah, Queen's Rock was in '84 and the EP in '83. So yeah, um, Crimson Glory is still a fucking knockoff band. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, just listen to Queen's Rock. Just listen to Mind Crime. Good shit. Um, Crimson Glory, not so much. <laughs> Nevermore. Uh, that Art in That World, pretty good. Not my favorite from them, but. Uh, it's it's their most metal, like their most heavy album, so it's it's probably first for that reason. I did check it out once, but it didn't stick out to me. Um, Mungla, I don't know. I think this dude burned down a fucking village or something. Uh, he's a black metal killer, you know. Surprise. <laughs> I guess it's good, but you know the album. Um, but uh, I haven't checked it out. I'm not really interested in modern modern anything. To be honest, I'm kind of a boomer. Um, Rush, not a metal album, but Atmosphere is pretty good though. Probably my favorite. It packs some ass as well. Fucking weird cover. Um, word of advice: never show a fucking brain on, on you on anything. Brains are fucking gross, you know. Unappealing, unattractive. They look gross as fuck. Why would you put that on a cover? Of course, brains are mandatory. They're fucking essential. I shouldn't have to tell you that. If I didn't have a brain, I couldn't fucking make this video or talk. But don't put that shit on your album cover. It's it's fucking disgusting. Uh, and Rush didn't. They thought it was a good idea. Rush, you're high. <laughs> um, but no, this album is uh, pretty decent though. Fucking. Stranga Viado. I'm butchering the fuck out of the title. Um, Villa Strangator or some shit. Sickness, decent. Um, circumstances, decent. The trees, kind of like whatever. Uh, La Villa Strangiato or whatever. La Villa Str Strangiato, whatever. Uh, that song is great. That's, that's an epic fucking instrumental, of course. Uh, yeah, pretty good, but Rush ain't metal. I think they're even on Metal Archives. I don't, I don't, what? Why? <laughs> I don't get it. When I listen to Subdivisions, I love that song. That's my favorite Rush song, but that shit ain't metal. <laughs> that shit ain't metal, bruh. 
It's, it's a fucking uh, what even is that? Like like a synth wave, like a synth prog song, like prog rock. Like what? Why? Hard rock at best. Hard rock maybe, not metal. I I, I don't I don't get it, uh, bruh. Uh, okay. Uh, Halloween. Uh, pretty. I don't know. Acclaimed album, but it was not my thing. I don't get it. Uh, Draconian, great. Uh, Draconian is my favorite doom metal band, probably. Um, fucking dark and gloomy and fucking oh my god, death come near me and shit like that. It's it's really fucking uh dark, you know, just really depressing sounding like my dying bride but like the riffs and the vocals are fucking great so i do love that uh, i do still prefer their first album and um not fucking uh the cry of silence amazing song i think i used to have that in my top 100 but it is a bit too depressing for me uh but when that second bridge comes in oh my fucking god i'm just like i'm screaming my fucking brains out to that as in, like, um, a sing, singing, quote-unquote, singing along into it, you know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a gloomy fucking band, but uh, I do like it. It's pretty good. Uh, so, yeah. Um, Slayer, good album. Uh, Tower Trek and uh, War Ensemble, pretty decent. I do probably prefer Rain and Blood, uh, but that's kind of a generic opinion. Or the first album, or Hell Awaits, are pretty good as well. Uh, season is one of their better, better albums for sure before they went into a really generic uh, direction you know so there you go uh, Arise probably my favorite Sepultura's uh, album uh, Tile Track that, that and Brion Excels is my favorite song probably from Sepultura or you know Roots of course um, what else Desperate Cry is pretty good uh, Under Siege Regnum Regnum Array is great as well uh, yeah, good album. Good shit. Uh, especially the first half. The second half does kind of weigh on a bit longer. But uh, yeah, the first half is fucking tight. Really good album. Um, and Sifrim, awesome album. One of my favorite folk metal albums, pro probably. So that shit is good. Uh, Death, Human. That's good. It's a bit, you know, it's with the Sending members. It's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's... Um, not my favorite death album, but um, the sound is pretty tight, though, especially with Cynic on it. Wasp, uh, the Crimson, yeah, the Crimson Idol, not the Cross album, uh, the fucking Crimson Idol. Uh, pretty great album cover, though. Uh, it's not really my. Wasp is still not really my thing, but uh, I will try to get into them a bit more. The Crimson Idol is probably their best album, you know, conceptual at least. Because it is a concept and it's probably their most consistent, but uh, I'll try to listen to them a bit more. I don't know. They still sound like kind of like a low tier band for me, but maybe I like them in the future better. Maybe if people recommend some some shit to me, you can recommend them a Discord. Uh, if you're if you're a fan, uh, Be Laker, I don't get it. Uh, Blind Guardian, probably my favorite album from them. Uh, Tower Truck's pretty epic, but I haven't really listened uh, much aside from that. But uh, yeah, probably their best album. If I when I did take a listen to it, it was the most enjoyable moment in my opinion. So there you go. Um, Ghost Referees, uh, great album, one of my favorite uh, albums. Uh, it is probably my favorite Opet album. Uh, Ghost Perdition, you know, uh, fucking Isolation Years is um, is really fucking moody. Referee Harley Quinn Force is probably my favorite Opet song in general. Um, Atonement, you know, pretty good atmosphere. Great fucking album. Beneath the Mire, you know, Bang of the Eyes. I can fucking phrase the whole album off without even looking at the track list. Uh, it, I've I've played it to death. It's, it's, a, it's a great album, great atmosphere. It's it's, it's a great album. Uh, Saturnus, I still don't get Saturnus. Fucking vague type of band. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't like it. Um, if someone wants to explain why Saturnus is a good band, they can explain it to me. I just think they're kind of like vague doom nonsense, you know. Um, the vocals are also just really don't appeal to me. I don't get it. <coughs> um, Rush, not a metal album. 2112, there's like a fucking... There's like an acoustic uh, breakdown section or a breakdown, like a bridge version in the song. It ain't metal, bruh. It ain't metal. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, I don't get it. Uh, Black Sabbath. Great album. I love Master of Reality. Probably my personal favorite. Um, Sweet Leaf. Iconic opening with the cuffing. You know, I like weed. Um, After Forever, good song. Embryo, decent interlude. Children of the Grave, epic, of course. It's a bit to overplay, but it's a good song. Uh, Lord of the World is decent. Solitude is pretty decent instrumental, I believe. And Into the Void is a fucking vibe. Into the Void is a great vibe song. Probably my personal favorite Black Sabbath song. Into the Void is a fucking vibe. I love that song. Uh, yeah, great album. Great. It, it's probably like the only album from Black Sabbath that I would actually consider a doom metal album, if that makes sense. I would probably get this on vinyl. I don't know. Black Sabbath is good shit. Uh, yeah. Winter Sun. Winter Sun is pretty good. Or, uh, well, at least uh, moments of this. You know, it's it's uh, the dude that created in Sifrim, so Winter Sun is automatically decent, you know? But the Sifrim is awesome, and Winter Sun is kind of mid, in my opinion. This album took, like, fucking years to make, or then they took another decade to make the next one, and it was kind of like, it was more generic, I guess, so, eh. Album cover's pretty good, though. I do like the cover. Uh, Black Sabbath, the the album that kind of created metal in a way quote unquote um besides the title track i don't really like this album that much to be honest it's kind of just sounds like a blues rock album um but yeah black Sabbath the title track is fucking amazing amazing fucking uh kind of like a doom metal song that one as well that song is fucking awesome but besides besides that song maybe nib is good but besides that you know the wizard is just kind of dumb <laughs> shit like that you know that's how most of the albums sound like the wizard you know so i don't really like that but uh, nib and especially the tile truck are fucking awesome uh immortal i don't get it just sounds like a generic black metal band wasn't a fan uh rush not a metal band but probably their best album you know fucking limelight and uh tom sawyer's on there and X, Y, Z, I think is how you pronounce it. That's instrumental is pretty good. Uh, yeah, good good shit. I like it. Um, Lateralis Batool, one of my favorite... Um, one of my favorite songs, or one of my favorite albums, I would say. The title track is amazing. The Grudge is really good. Uh, Schism, of course, is classic. It's a bit too overplayed for me. But Schism is good. Uh, Parable, Parabola is great. It's probably my personal favorite. Um... Yeah, overall, good fucking album. You can also vibe to it. You can, like, headbang to it, to the heavier riffs, you know. Uh, you can use it as a study album, you know. It it's kind of just works for everything. It's just a great uh, fucking album, I think. So, yeah, it's a, it's it's good. It's good shit. It's uh, it's Tool at their best. But Anima has a... Anima has a vibe I do prefer, but Lateral is just fucking epic, you know. Lateral is just a fucking classic. An old metal classic. Uh, the Purple Machine Head, my favorite uh, album, like I said, from them. Highway Star is pretty great. Smoke on the Water is a bit overplay, but if you want to start somewhere at a, uh, you know, in rock or metal, then Deep Purple is not a bad band in that, in that regard. Halloween, uh, I, prefer, I think I prefer the, the first part, but the second part is still decent, I guess. Images and Words by Dream Theater, great fucking album. Uh, Pull Me Under's on here, which is great. Uh, Surrounded, I think, has a great atmosphere. Basically a pop song. I love that song. Uh, what else is on there? Metropolis Part 1. And it was kind of a joke at first, and then they just made a sequel because people kept requesting it. It's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, that song was pretty good. Under Glass Moon, I really like. Uh, Wait for Sleep, the the interlude by Kevin Moore. I fucking love that, uh, that song. That's great. Uh, yeah. Images of Warriors has a lot of heart and soul in it. If people say, like, Dream Theater is a generic prog metal band, listen to fucking Images and Words. It has so much soul, so much passion into that fucking album. If you really want to, like, say to me that they're, like, a generic or, like, a soulless band, listen to Images and Words. It has so much fucking soul in it, man. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, yeah, Dream Theater is a great band. Uh, you know, now they're a bit nah now they're a bit generic i would say but uh every band kind of loses its feel after a while even this band you know but dream theater uh is a great band i do love them especially this album and uh black clouds is great too and awake and you know they, they have a lot of good shit uh probably 
um, Inner Turb Turbulence, that album. That's probably my favorite. I was called again. Uh, Six Degrees of Inner Turbulence. I don't have to look it up. Uh, that that's all is fucking great. That's probably my personal favorite. Um, Holy Diver is pretty good, but I'm not a huge heavy metal fan. Uh, Rainbow in the Dark is pretty epic though, so there you go. Uh, I'm going a bit faster because I kind of want to wrap this up. I'm, I'm a bit hungry. Um, Heaven and Hell, great Black Sabbath album. Um, my favorite with Dio, you know, Heaven and Hell and uh, Neon Lights is great too. It's a great album. Um, yeah, Heaven and Hell, I mainly have that shit on GTA 4, so that was pretty good. When I had it on, I just kind of sat in my car despite it being on fire. So I would fucking die in the flames, but at least I had Black Sabbath, so that was good shit. Um, Queen Trike, like I said, this is the the probably the best conceptual metal album. Um, it's about this girl, I think. Marie or some shit that like uh, is under a crime and she has to die and shit uh, because she was hooked up with a murderer but she pretended to be a prostitute or some shit um, yeah I don't really follow through with the concept people claim it to be the best concept ever but I'm, I'm like okay cool but uh, the songs are pretty good though so I don't, I don't really I don't really give a shit Todd track and um, Sister Mary is fucking epic and um, the, the the closing song, of course, "Eyes of a Stranger" is, is great. Uh, yeah, good good shit. Good shit is on the album, so I do definitely recommend it. I probably personally prefer "Empire." It's a bit catchier, but uh, "Empire" of uh, fucking mind crime is, of course, a classic. So uh, listen to it over "Crimson Glory" any day of the fucking week. Stay away from that band, please. Or well, it's 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 your own it's your own fucking choice, of course. But uh, I would recommend. Sticking to this album because it's good and not to Crimson Glory because they suck. Um, King Crimson, I don't consider King Crimson a metal band, but uh, people do think this is uh, metal, I guess. Um, at the time, King Crimson was probably the heaviest band in 69, so I don't, uh, I understand that, you know, when people wanted to see the stones and King Crimson showed up, people were like, holy shit, what is this fucking band? People were like blown away by King Crimson. So I understand that, but I don't think they're a metal band anymore at least, But uh, or, you know, now. But yeah, people, I guess it, they are on this list. But um, if we are going to talk about King Crimson, we can grab chords. Um, Schizoid Man is great. A Talk to the Wind. Epitaph is epic. Moonchild is probably my personal favorite. Uh, after with uh, with an Evangelion uh, AMV when like Ray walks out of the fucking hospital. Dark shit. Gloomy shit. I love that. Lo love that shit. King Crimson and Ava. Oh my god. I'm in heaven. Um, yeah, that's great. So yeah, good shit. King Crimson. I shouldn't say this to you, but listen to King Crimson. <laughs> listen to In the Court and Red. And uh, Lark's uh, Tongues and Aspic. Great albums. Not a metal band, though, but uh, great great regardless. Great great music. Um, yeah, I think this is going to piss some people off. Uh, Dream Theater is above King Crimson, and this is the metal storm side, so I guess it is accurate. Uh, Metropolis 2 is a good album, but I do think it's really overrated. Um, you know, fucking Fatal Tragedy is pretty good. Uh, Spirit Carries On is really cheesy, but that song is pretty good as well. Um, you know, fucking the Eater. No, what the hell was the song called again? Um, not Spirit. Fucking how is the song called again? I, I forgot it. Um, Home is pretty good. Uh, Dance of yeah, the Dance of Eternity. That, that shit is fucking epic. That is a great instrumental. Um, yeah, I don't really like the concept. I think that's downfall explained in this uh, retrospective of Dream Theater that the concept of this album is that mm. there was some chick that was dating a dude and they were like together and shit. And um, eventually the guy kind of became a psycho and he stepped the shit out of her. And the album just kind of keeps rephrasing that, oh, this happened. Do you remember this? Deja vu and the fucking... Um, how did it happen through her eyes? Yeah, she got a fucking stabbed, mate. Like, how are you going to write an entire concept about a girl getting stabbed by her boyfriend? I, I don't know what. That's, I guess, the concept, because that's what, uh, what I heard. But 
Uh, yeah, I don't get that. You know, finally they're free. Yeah, you got you got stabbed in the fucking neck. Of course, you're not alive anymore. <laughs> I guess that's being finally free. I don't, what? I I I don't, I don't get it. It's 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 kind of a grim topic, I know, but that's the fucking concept of the album, I guess. But I don't know. Uh, I don't really care about concept if, if you can tell. I'm not sure why I'm, why I'm bringing it up, but uh, it is. People claim it to be the best concept album, and I'm like, okay, cool. There are some good songs on it, I guess. I don't give a shit. Um, the section, I'm not a huge fan of this album. I prefer the first, and uh, the second album is probably my favorite. Star Eon, I think it's called. I forgot the title of it. Uh, Rain Chaos, yeah, there you go. Rain Chaos is probably my favorite. It's just a melodic death metal album, whereas the first two are melodic black metal, they claim. But uh, yeah, first one is just metal death. Good shit, I think. Um, yeah, this album never clicked with me. Uh, the songs are pretty aimless to me. This album doesn't really go anywhere. It just kind of stays in a consistent, uh, kind of like blackened death metal type of way. So I guess this band inspired uh, Behemoth. Uh, and I really don't like Behemoth, you know. So I guess I'll take this dissection album before I ever put on Behemoth, you know. So there you go. Um Slayer, probably my favorite album by them, Rain and Blood. Uh, pretty good shit. It's, it's 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 a classic. The production is a bit moody and <coughs> shitty, but I mean, Rick Rubin did production, so that shouldn't be a surprise. Uh, you know, Rain and Blood and uh, Altered Sacrifice, I think, is on there. What else is on there? Um, Peace by Peace, Angel of Death, of course. Uh, Criminally Insane is really fun. Uh, Postmortem is like, has a great, like, Kind of a build up to Rain and Blood, and then Rain and Blood happens, of course. And uh, you know, I think you've you've heard it. Um, it it's 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 a classic, but <coughs> it's probably not it's not my favorite track my album. But you know, the production is a bit too moody and shitty. Just you know, if you're ever gonna like record anything, just stay away from Rick Rubin, please. Don't don't fuck don't fuck with that guy. He he just fucking sucks. Don't fuck with Rick Rubin. He fucking sucks. Uh, listen to um, to fucking Volume Three by Slipknot. Uh, he produced that shit or any system on without album in thousands. It sounds like fucking garbage, uh, especially in um, in that Volume Three version on Spotify from Sp uh, from Slipknot. The production is fucking ass. Rick Rubin did that production. Fuck Rick Rubin. Uh, but Slayer is <laughs> decent, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not a I'm not a fan of Rick Rubin. If you can tell, dude just sits on the couch eating a eating a bag of potato chips, and he calls that producing an album. Like Rick, Rick Rubin, suck a dick, man, suck a dick. Uh, there you go. Um, Crimson, I prefer Crimson too, but uh, people do love me, do love some Crimson. Um, I'm still not a fan of the one song album thing, you know, it's not my thing, so uh, maybe I should re listen to the album a bit more. People really fucking love Crimson. I'm like, ah, yeah, it's decent, you know, Michael Eckerfeld is on it, so that's at least decent, I guess. But uh, and uh, Dan Swano is a pretty great uh, composer, you know, so I should say that Crimson 2 is still my personal favorite, though. I do like the cover more as well. This cover is a bit too like gritty and like vague to me. Uh, yeah, uh, still alive. Still alive is great. It's not my favorite open album. It's a bit. Oh fuck! I know. Uh, the more is great. Uh, Benighted is really moody. Moonlight Vertigo is probably my personal favorite. Face of Melinda is great. Uh, yeah, the last two songs are kind of whatever to me, but the la the rest of the album is pretty great. Uh, and the album covers great as well, especially the remaster. I love the remastered covers. Probably my favorite Opet uh, cover. Or Ghost, Ghost Refuge or um, Watershed. Opet album covers are just great. Um, Led Zeppelin, not metal, but I understand that people like this for some reason. I'm not a huge Led Zeppelin guy, but Stairway to Heaven is on this album if you uh, want to start somewhere, I guess, here. And Black Dog and shit like that. Uh, yeah, it's it's decent. Um, when the Levy Breaks probably my personal favorite. If you like fuse that with a hippo beat, it's it's pretty great. So there you go. Um, or if you fuse that with hip hop in general, it's it's probably better than listening to Led Zeppelin in my opinion. Not a huge uh, Zeppelin guy. Um, 
Iron Maiden, pretty decent. I think this album is a bit overrated, but uh, I can understand that people like it. Um, Rainbow Rising, a pretty great album. I'm not gonna lie. I should see what's on there. Um, Tired Woman, Starstruck is good. Do you close your eyes? Is a bit eh. Stargazer is an amazing song, of course. I shouldn't tell you that. Uh, Line in the Black is pretty epic as well. Don't sleep on that shit. But uh, yeah, this album is a bit too inconsistent for me to like call it a masterpiece but uh, st uh, you know the last two songs are definitely a masterpiece third woman is a pretty interesting opener kind of like a synth wavy type of a uh, type of vibe uh pretty interesting um or like a like a synth like a synth rock type of song you know in a way synth wave didn't exist back then uh there you go pretty good the, the middle the middle is a bit whatever it's it's kind of backloaded in my opinion but uh yeah it, it's still decent though I still think it's decent. Um, maybe not the like fifteenth best metal album ever, but uh, yeah, that's up for debate, of course. It has one of the best metal songs ever, though. But one of the best songs in general, I would say. That's Stargazer, just fucking amazing. Uh, there you go. Ashes Against the Grain. This might actually be my favorite album ever. Um, amazing atmosphere. It's great for the winter. It's great for winter vibes. Um, limbs has a really eerie like screechy kind of opening but when it hits it just fucking hits you it's great falling snow is might be my favorite song ever amazing i got it with like some berserk clips and shit i love that i fucking love falling snow um fireball is pretty good not unlike the waves is an amazing song uh a fortress burning the trilogy is how this album closed out one is good bloodburst is great uh, the grain is wide noise. The grain is kind of wide noise, so this album isn't perfect, but it has a perfect aesthetic and vibe for me. You know, the album cover and the, the fucking atmosphere of this album is amazing. So, yeah, I love everything about this album. Uh, maybe drop the... Maybe drop the closure. Maybe end with Bloodbirds. Oh, that would have been fucking awesome. The final song being Bloodburst, oh, that would have been great. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, they didn't do that. Um, that would have been better, because the grain is just white noise. It's literally white noise. Uh, but that's how they went out. Uh, this is still my most played Agalog album, though. It's fucking great. I do think it's better than the Mental. Mental's still good, though, but uh, Ash Against the Grain is my go-to. And it is still higher. Uh, the Sound of Perseverance is my favorite death album. Um, I should look at it a bit. Scavenger of Human Sorrow, great opening, uh, drum opening. Um, Spirit Crusher is great. Story tells good. Flesh and the Power Dolls, my most played death song. Voice of the Souls is a great, is a great uh, cover, or a great instrumental. Painkiller is a great cover. Um, the vocals are really fucking weird. Uh, Chuck has a really like high screechy voice on this album, but uh, it 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 is good shit. I, I do think it's good shit. So there you go. Um. Yeah, this album cover looks like uh, kind of like photoshopped, kind of like um, what's the word? It looks like photoshopped ass in a way, uh, like like cyber, like fucking computer printed ass. I don't know what the word is. Um, but yeah, the the, the remaster is pretty great. Though. The remaster cover is pretty great, but uh, this cover leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> uh, but the album itself is pretty great, though. Cool, the production is fine, so there you go. Um, the mantle, uh, great. It's great, but it's not my favorite Agalog album. Ashes, Ashes Against the Grain is way better in my opinion, but uh, there you go. In the shadow for pill. In the Shadow of a Pill Companion is great. Odol's pretty good. On the Wooden Doors is pretty classic. You're a Ghost in My Arms. A fucking vibe to the song. Really hard. That's a really good song. Um, the Heart the heart Torn the heart torn Passage is good. Uh, last two songs are kind of like whatever to me. But the rest of the album is pretty great. Though. Last two songs are still pretty decent though. But not my favorite. <clears throat> Um, Number of the Beast by Maiden, of course, classic. Um, you know, Gangland is really the only song that I would say is a dud, but besides that, it's classic, of course. Run, running, run to the hills, and uh, fucking Holler Be Your Name is on this album, amazing song, of course. Um, what else? Number of the Beast style track, Run to the Hills, like I said. Um, 
The 22 KCF news is pretty good. Uh, Children of the Dam I really like. I really like that scream, that like build up that uh, Bruce Dickinson does. That's great. It's, it's a great debut for Bruce Dickinson. He really like showed his prowess with this album. So there you go. <clears throat> Power Slave, I think is a bit overrated. Uh, Tower Track is pretty good. And um, I never listened to this album, to be honest. Ace is high, is decent, I guess, but it's not really... Yeah, it's kind of F for me. Um, it's a bit too overplayed. Flash of the Blade is kind of... Uh, the whole like the whole middle side is just kind of generic to me. I don't remember much. Uh, two Minutes to Midnight is pretty catchy, though. Uh, Around the Asian Mariner is a fucking epic song, but it does kind of sound like an, like an extended, like an unnecessary sequel to uh, Holly Be The Name. So I do prefer uh, Normal of the Beast in a way. It just it just has one dud and this whole album is kind of sounds like a dud to me or the whole middle side is just kind of whatever to me. Uh, so yeah, there you go. And ASI is just a bit a bit too overplay for me. I don't know. Uh, Black Sabbath, Paranoid, uh, great great album. Uh, probably my favorite Sabbath album. Warpix is my favorite Sabbath song. Paranoid is classic, of course. Um, Planet Planet, Gar Planet Gar Caravan, fucking on. Later covered by Pantera, but uh, here it was pretty moody, pretty atmospheric, pretty good. The Pantera cover, the Pantera cover is also pretty good, but uh, this uh, the OG, like it stays a Sabbath classic, I think. <coughs> Electric Funeral, pretty good. Uh, Hand of Doom is decent. Red Salad is a really good like drum instrumental, like a drum breakdown, but uh, it's probably like it's kind of a dead. It's kind of like weird that it's included. But they wanted like I think their own Led Zeppelin like John Bonham kind of section, so I, I understand why they did it. And um Ferris Wear Boots is pretty good as well. Um yeah, it's mainly the first side that I really care about. The second side is kind of whatever, but um Ferris Wear Boots and uh, you know um Electric Funeral is really good as well. So yeah, there you go. The first five songs I would say are great. The rest of the album is kind of take or leave. <coughs> Um, Blackwater Park, amazing album, of course. Uh, Tile Track and Harvest is a g pretty good uh, acoustic song. Bleak is great. Uh, Drapery Falls is uh, pretty classic as well. Um, yeah, Bleak is probably my favorite song on the album. It's kind of is acoustic. It has some growls. It uh, has a really fucking. It just has a really bleak undertone. The song, the title is really accurate. It just, it just sounds like a really moody piece. Uh, Steven Wilson also did the production on this album. That was the first time they collaborated together, I think, Opit and Porkman Tree. So that was pretty interesting. Two of my favorite bands. So yeah, there you go. Uh, pretty great. Not my favorite Opit album. The production. I'm not the biggest fan of Steven Wilson produced albums, but uh, this album is still pretty classic, of course. And Steven re really put it himself on the map when he produces because Blackwater Park is a huge fucking album. So there you go. Um, Master Puppets. Um, yeah, th these two kind of go back and forth for me. Master Puppets has the best production, I would say, from any Metallica album. Ride the, Ride the Lightning is a bit more raw in your face, but I do prefer that style a bit better. Uh, Ride the Lightning, the title track, and uh, fucking from the Bell Tolls and uh, the Color Cthulhu is a fucking epic instrumental, you know. Um, yeah, just an epic album, you know. Trapped under Trapped Under Ice is also pretty good. The only dud on this album is Escape. Escape fucking sucks. Even if you ask Metallica, they didn't want Escape to be on there. They just they just they just needed one more song to fill out the the track listing. So that's the only fucking reason that Escape exists. You know, it fucking sucks. Uh, but yeah, there you go. It, it's just kind of a useless song. But besides that, Ride the Lighting is great. Uh, Master Puppets, of course, is battery, amazing opener. Orion, amazing instrumental. Uh, what else is on there? Fucking Master Puppets, of course. It's it's a bit played out, but it's still a classic song, I would say. Um, Disposable Heroes is a really good riff. Leopard Messiah is good. Welcome Home is a really eerie fucking atmosphere. That's great, you know. Uh, just all in all, a fucking great trash metal album. It's 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 Master of Puppets. What what do you want me to say? Uh, it's it's fucking great, you know. <laughs> I don't have a lot to say about it. Uh, it's it's Master of Puppets. Um, Painkiller is my favorite Judas Priest album. I wouldn't consider it the third best album ever in metal because uh, I only really like Painkiller and uh, A Touch of Evil is pretty good. All Guns Blazing and um, Blaze of Glory, I think. How was the song called again? 
not the fucking John Bon Jovi song. <laughs> um, one shot at glory. There you go. That shit is good as well. Um, the the rest of the album does sound a bit like a derivative uh, of Painkiller, the song, and then it just kind of derails and derails. You know, it just kind of becomes a derivative of another derivative. That's how the album sounds to me for the most part. I know that's just fucking blessed me because it's fucking Painkiller, but. I don't know. I'm not really. I don't really go back to Painkiller a lot because it. I don't know. The songwriting is just not. A lot of the shit just just sounds the same to me. Like Painkiller, the song is awesome, and then the rest of the album is just kind of like, oh, I like this song. This song sounds interesting, but nothing is like nev- nothing ever touches Painkiller. You know, it just opens up and ends in the most perfect way, and I'm like, how the fuck are you gonna top this? And they didn't. And they bro, they kind of broke up after this fucking album because they couldn't top themselves. I don't blame them, you know. Uh, Painkiller is awesome, so yeah, it's it's the third best metal album, I guess. Um, the song is definitely one of the best songs of all time. I'm not a huge fan of the album itself, but uh, yeah, there you go. That's my opinion. Uh, bless me, Sim- symbolic but deaf. A uh, pretty good album. One. Fan in my server really like took a shit on this album, and he said, "Oh, it's it's uh, it's overrated, and uh, it's um, it doesn't deserve the the hype or some shit." And I'm like, "It's definitely a good tech death album. It's not my favorite necessarily." Um, <clears throat> Symbolic, the title track is good. Zero tolerance is great. Uh, Empty words is pretty good as well. Sacred Sur- sacred serenity is kind of whatever to me. Thousand Eyes is kind of whatever. Without Judgment is my personal favorite. I love the like kind of the guitar phrasing in the middle. Love that shit when it builds up again to the to the main um, to, to the main fucking riff. I guess I'm not the best with musical terms. Um, yeah, Crystal Mountain is classic, of course. A bit a uh, bit overplayed. Misanthrope and perennial perennial fucking hell. Misanthrope and perennial crest are a bit aimless in my opinion. Uh, really feels like they are just kind of like trying to fill time with those last two songs uh, like especially Perennial Quest it just kind of sounds like an 8 minute song that goes on for like 5 more minutes you know I don't get that so I understand why he called it overrated I do prefer the sound of Perseverance and uh, Human maybe even but um, yeah I don't know man I don't know what to tell you it is a great album I fucking love this album cover it has a great album cover um, it's not my favorite death album. I think their last album is the best, but people don't even consider it a death metal anymore. I don't really care, you know. The band is called Death, so they should. They are a death metal band, I guess. Uh, but the la- yeah, 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 they fucking are. Um, they pretty much invent the death metal or possess. You know, can go back and forth with those bands. Um, but yeah, I think their last album is the best, but despite it not even being a death metal album, people consider it progressive trash. I'm like, cool. I like it, you know, so <laughs> I don't care. Um, Symbolic is uh, good, but I wouldn't call it the second best metal album ever or something. I would still would probably put it in the top 50 or something, but eh, I don't know. It's it's definitely a bit overrated, I would say. And according to Metal Storm, it's still the best one, but it's not number one. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, Rest in Peace by Megadeth is the greatest metal album ever, and I'm going to round it out there because it's two hours. Um, Megadeth, I have a lot of issues with Megadeth. I hate Dave's vocals, but he's pretty listenable in this album because it was pretty early in his career. Uh, his vocals were, weren't total garbage, you know, yet. Um, Rust in Peace is great. It's the only reason I didn't give Megadeth a low tier, this album, so it should say something. Um, production is great. Uh, vocals are less frequent than on all the all, then on other albums, it's more uh, instrumental based. So that's something I appreciate. Um, you know, Holy Wars, amazing song. Hangar 18, amazing song, especially how it ends. Just epic, you know. Um, Five Magic is great. Poison Monster Curse, kind of whatever. Luc- Lucretia is pretty good. Pretty uh, underrated song. Probably the most underrated Megadeth song, in my opinion. Or Ash Shame Out is also really good from uh, the album after this. Uh, Dawn Patrol is just kind of a whatever David Ellison bass instrumental um, and Rest in Peace Polaris is really fucking epic as well really goes out on a high note so 
Um, I don't like this album does have some duds like Dawn Patrols kind of whatever and Take No Prisoners is just kind of generic uh like kind of like a yell song like Take No Prisoners I'm like okay cool mate <laughs> they got something to say um yeah so I don't really care about the song but Hangar 18 Hangar 18 and uh Holy Wars and especially fucking Tornado of Souls uh didn't even talk about that song yet Tornado of Souls fucking awesome as well I'm gonna end it at the two hour mark um yeah, this might be the best metal album, I guess, but it's not my personal favorite. Um, well, I'm gonna talk a bit more. Um, yeah, that was it. Uh, this is the top 200 metal albums ever, according to Metal Storm. Megadeth, Rust in Peace, still number one. I do, I do like it better than uh, Symbolic, though. I'll say that. It's not my personal favorite, though. But um, that's the list. Um, if you have an opinion on this as well, then leave it in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think about this list. Um, do you love it, hate it? Uh, what would you like to see more? I'm probably going to watch the Glitch Wave list after this. So I'll see how that goes. If you've got more suggestions, then uh, leave it up to me. Uh, say it to me. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the future. Um, if you want to find me, I'm on Discord. I'll leave my uh, my info in the description down below if you're interested in talking about... If you're, t if you're in still interested in talking with me about music, you know... Um, art anime gaming you know anything like that i'm interested in it so if you're interested then hit me up i'll leave my uh, info in the description uh thanks for watching this like comment subscribe it uh would help me and uh, peace